students welcome back coming to the next topic in the subject distributed systems is a distributed databases so you already know the concept of databases databases it's a storage device where you can access the data uh, by, with the help of the queries okay the data is stored in the form of tables so far in the database management system what you learn about database it's just in a single processor you are storing the data and you are retrieving the uh, information from that database. But in the distributed environment, what is this distributed database? Here, the distributed database is a system. Is a system in which storage devices are not connected to a common process. Common processing unit. Oh, means each system is having their own storage device. So, it is not connected to a common processing unit. Okay, it is not connected to a, that is a distributed database is not connected to a common processing unit because each having their own processing unit. Okay, this point you have to remember that. Distributed database is a system in which storage devices are not connected to a common processing unit. Database is controlled by distributed database management system and data may be stored at same location or spread over the interconnected network. It is loosely coupled system. So what it, they are saying means here uh, it, it is a distributed environment. All the distributed database managed system and data may be stored at the same location. Maybe. Okay. Maybe stored at same location or spread over the interconnected network so that distributed database management system and the data is spreading over to the different systems which are present at different locations through interconnected network so that's why we call it as a loosely coupled system this distributed database is a loosely coupled system so that every system can access the data whenever it required let's see a typical example of the distributed database system in which a communication channel is used to communication with the different locations at, and every system has its own memory and the database. So far, whatever I said now, each system is having their own memory and the database, own memory and the database. So here the main concept is a communication is established, is a, a communication channel is used to communicate with the different locations and every system has its own memory and the database let's see here this is the diagram of distributed database so by seeing this picture what you're understanding here you can see this is one system this system is present at one location location one it's having their own memory and the database and another system this system is present at different location with say uh, say with memory and the database and another system is stored uh, present in different location with the memory and the database so each system is having their own memory and the database so this is a distributed environment here all systems are communicated through this communication channel so with the help of this communication channel this database can be accessed here and this database can be accessed here means everything will be con communicated so this is a distributed database environment Let's see the goals of distributed database system. So far I said what is a distributed database and uh, by showing the diagram. Now let's see what are the main goals of distributed database system. Why we require this environment. First is reliability. In distributed database system, if one system fails down or stops working for some time, another system can complete the task. So that's why all systems are communicated with the communication channel. Suppose this system is failed. No problem. We are having still two more systems. Okay. It's just I'm taking three only. Uh, in the distributed environment, so many systems can be connected to the communication channel. If any one of the system fails, then no problem. We can... Uh, complete the task by using another system so this is one that is a reliability that is the one goal of distributed database system next availability in distributed database system reliability can be achieved even if severe fail uh, down another system is available to serve the client request so or the way whatever i said the reliability means availability is another goal means another system is available even though the system is failed another system is available next is a performance this performance is an import uh, it's an important criteria of the distributed database system 
So the goal of this performance is a performance can be achieved by distributed database over different locations. So the database are available to every locations which is easy to maintain. So these are the goals of distributed database. Thank you.